Hi everybody, just a super quick video about XML validation with DAISY code snippets when you get um, this error. Um, the markup in the document following the root element must be well formed and in this particular case I'm trying to validate some XML code snippets. So what happens is if you look at the error, it's a bit of an odd one. Um, it says uh, we kind of have this this bit here where it kind of says that the type name and this is a CFG spawnable types uh, code snippet isn't well formed and you're like eh, what's this but it's a real simple mistake this one there is actually nothing wrong with any of the code what it is is because I'm validating an XML snippet I'm missing the header and footer codes that, that would be necessary so for example because uh, this is a CFG spawnable types .xml, um, code snippet and I'm just including the code snippet itself if I need to validate it I need to go to a proper CFG spawnable types file and you'll see that it will have a kind of a starter and a, a you know a header and a footer so we would go we would copy that and we would put that up there and then if we go to the bottom of CFG spawnable types we go to there and we have the footer which closes it off then we can go back to the code snippet and at the bottom if I just paste that in now if I now save that go back to the validator reload the validator choose the file reload the file validate it and no errors were found so if you're ever editing code snippets so just chunks of code from a types file or a CFG small types file or any XML or the JSON files um, just be aware that you need to put the header and the footer for that particular type of file um, into your code snippet when you're validating it and then you can take it out afterwards when you're done um, in this case I'll be turning this into like an a set of instructions so I can take those out um, and that will be fine because when the person uses this code snippet they'll be copy and pasting it into their existing CFG spawnable types um, which means that uh, it will already have the header and the footer on okay hopefully that's useful obviously there's lots of other things that can cause this error as well but, <laughs> but if that was your problem we may have solved it uh, I'll put a link to the XML validator in the description below the video if you weren't aware of that sort of thing um, if you found the video useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and I will of course see you again soon.